Hey guys, Brandon Zero here, bringing you another video on Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Today, I wanted to give you my breakdown of the skill tree and go through exactly which ones I would choose if I was only given two points per node. Let me go ahead and preface this by saying I prefer to go for the passive traits because regardless of which perks you want to equip, passives are gonna be there at all times and you can only equip three perks at any given time. I will not go into detail on which of the main four you should choose, seeing as that is strictly for your playstyle. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the first. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Maybe you have some preferences that you would like to voice and subscribe to the channel for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. For the first section, the basic sections, I would go ahead and recommend you do parachutes and the night vision. These will come in real handy especially when trying to jump out of a uh, helicopter. It really lets you get above the scene. You can abandon the helicopter and jump down parachute in and night vision just lets you be able to do a lot of night operations and go in unseen. Really good. Some people may argue that the experience upgrade would be better, but if I was only able to upgrade two, the experience upgrade would not be beneficial after level 30, so I wouldn't want it. For the next section, weapons, I would go with better dismantle as well as the pistol arrow this would be the first perk that i would actually choose and i would choose this one because you're always going to have a handgun that you're using additionally you're always going to be dismantling weapons and if you can get more parts that's great i won't touch base on the mark one and mark two these are good to have and upgrade them by all means whenever you have the points but don't spend your early points on them b you probably won't be upgrading weapons in the beginning of the game I will also say that the perk slots upgrade them as you need them. I wouldn't recommend upgrading them early on because they do take up precious points, but by all means, go ahead and upgrade them once you have the points. Moving on for the first recon bubble, I would recommend that you go with thermal vision for the first one. And then I would recommend also to go with the resource detection. Recon or the resource detection is going to be really good just for picking up resources so that you can later use them at bivouacs to be able to make certain upgrades that you need. And then being able to have thermal vision is just really good in the battlefield. For Recon 2, I would recommend you go with drone visions and drone mark area. Let me go ahead and say that by all means, all of these upgrades are really good, but being able to mark thermal vision onto enemies with your drone as well as being able to mark in a larger area is just really beneficial. Being able to fly farther and being able to fly faster are great, but they're not as important. The next one that I'll go into is staying in that same branch sniper. This one I would have to say would be iron lungs because you're almost always gonna have some kind of a sniper maybe as your secondary or something like that that you can fight from farther away. And then I would also go with ballistic advantage this would be the second perk that I would pick up. And that's again, just because you're almost always gonna be running with some kind of a secondary sniper. Going back to the middle of it, we get the survival branch. I would go ahead and say that the first one that I would recommend is tireless. And then the second one would be speed climber. These two are really good passives to have because you're gonna be interacting with a lot of hills and mountains in this game and being able to climb them faster as well as not having as much of a drain on your stamina is going to just come in handy, especially when running away from enemies. Going over to the right, this one is a little bit tricky, seeing as two of them are the exact same. But I'll go ahead and say that the first one that I would recommend would be one of these scale credits. And then I would also recommend doing the armory upgrade because buying items from the armory will be an integral part of raising your gear score. And that's really going to help you when it comes to doing that. Moving over to the next section is survival. For the survival node two, I would recommend that you go with stamina, region, speed, as well as mountaineer. The slide control is just so crucial. Once you upgrade this node and get the slide control, you're gonna notice such a difference when it comes to going down mountains. You don't roll as much, which drains your stamina as much and then being able to regen your stamina speed much quicker is just gonna come in handy. A lot of people may argue that having your water filter would be good, but once you have better control 
of your stamina in the later game, this really doesn't become as much effectiveness. I rarely ever use my water anymore. Moving to the middle section, we've got the two tactic nodes. With this one, I would have to go in a different kind of train of thought here is if you are one of the people that likes to team up and you're running almost the entire game with somebody, I would recommend taking the top two nodes of Revivalist as well as Inspired. You may want to maybe bounce back and forth or just choose one or the other based on what you want to do in that moment, but I would recommend those. And then if you are playing mostly an alone, I would have to go with the bottom two. I know that both of the bottom twos are passives, but seeing as if you are maybe the healer of the group or you're just almost always playing this game in a group, the top two will come in handy a little bit more. If you've got somebody in your team that is taking those top two nodes instead of you, then maybe you can take these bottom two, but the top two are really solid uh, for teammates. For the second node of the tactics, I would first off recommend the convoy upgrade. This is going to be a really, really good upgrade that you can get better equipment from the convoy. And then the second one that I would recommend is drone hunter. You will be fighting a lot of drones in this game and more as you go higher up in the gear score rank, but this is just gonna be a good one for all around. Going back down to the bottom section, we have stealth. For this one, it's the sixth sense is a really, really good perk uh, that marking anybody in your area would be great, but I really, for this one, would recommend Slim Shadow because the stealth aspect is so great, as well as the sensor hack, seeing as you will be fighting a lot of drones in the later part of the game. Really, really good perk for that. Moving along to the gadgets. For the first node, I would recommend that you go with the Explosives Mark II, primarily because it upgrades the grenade. And then I would also go ahead and say Item Capacity is another good one to upgrade for this. For the Gadget Section 2, I would recommend the EMP Grenade. This is very crucial, especially moving into the later part of the games with all the drones that you will be fighting as well as it really helps with the final mission fighting Walker. The drones that follow him around are brutal, and this really helps with that. And then I would also recommend the other item capacity upgrade. For the last section of Assault, the first thing that I would recommend is going with the Healing Pouch. It gives you one extra ability of the Syringe. And then I would also recommend the maximum ammo increase to be able to carry more. For the second and final node, I would again recommend that you upgrade the syringe one more time to be able to have a higher increase of healing and then go ahead and give yourself one more of the healing capacity make letting you carry one more of them and that's what i would recommend for my two nodes for each of the trees by all means you can go ahead and buy more as you see fit but if i only had to choose two those are the two that i would choose thanks for checking out the video guys if you like it give it a thumbs up Comment below if you've got some maybe that you don't agree with or you would buy a different one instead and subscribe to the channel for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. Thanks.